Hi everybody, as all of you know that we are continuing one playlist of GCP Cloud Associate Engineer exam. And what we do in our playlist is first we discuss the topic. So today's topic is Google App Engine. After that we solve previous year questions asked on these topics. And after completing the playlist at the last we will do a practical which will combine all the concepts that we have read till now. So basic agenda of playlist is to help you to clear this exam with minimal effort and minimal time. So guys before this we have already published 6 videos before this so I request all of you to watch all those parts before this and then continue this video. So guys before you move ahead please like this video and subscribe to the channel for getting more updates regarding this. So guys before this video we have already discussed about Google Compute Engine in details. But guys there were some problems associated with Google Compute Engine. So that's why Google came up with new concept that is Google App Engine. So first let's discuss about the problems with Google Compute Engine. So guys Google Compute Engine was infrastructure as service. What it means is they will give you everything like a storage, network, virtual machines, everything but you have to choose by yourself, you have to configure by yourself. While I was explaining Google Compute Engine, you might have observed that you were asked to select the machine type, you were asked to select the boot disk and you have to configure load balancing also in order to scale up and down your application. It means that let's say you have created one VM instance for you but after some time you realize that this VM instance is not suitable for you then in that case you have to go and create a new VM instance depending upon your need and above all you have to take care of your code also because unless and until your code is not performing well everything is waste. But here in Google App Engine, what Google is saying is that do not worry about VM instance, do not worry about a storage, network, anything, do not worry about any infrastructure issues, just take care of your code, give us the code and then we will deploy your code according to suitable VM instances. But now you might be thinking that then how billing is decided, they may give us a high priced VM instance, they may give us a high priced storage. but depending upon your request depending upon the load that you are getting from your customers google app engine will give you suitable vm suitable storage and network to you so it is platform as a service so google compute engine was infrastructure as a service but google app engine is platform as a service so i hope you get the difference between google compute engine and google app engine now let's deep dive in google app engine so if you go to the google app engine then they have given you two ways through which you can deploy your application so the first way is a standard environment and the second one is flexible environment so in a standard environment they have given built-in support for some languages like java go python node.js but not for c++ Please remember this point that they have not given support for C++. So what happens is that let's say you have written a code in a particular language but what was happening in Google Compute Engine was that you have to install the libraries of Java, Go and Python on your VM instance before running your code. But here in standard environment they have given built in support already. You have to just mention your version like on this version like on this Java version your code has been written and they will install the required java version mentioned in your code. Also guys you are not required to take care of any infrastructure related problems that I have already discussed. And also a standard will take less time to start and it is very cheap as compared to flexible. And it can scale down to zero also. I will talk about scaling in standard and flexible in upcoming slides. For the time being just remember that you can scale down to zero in case of a standard app engine. Now let's go to the flexible app engine. Now let's say you want to run your application inside docker containers. Also there are some languages for which built-in support is not provided in the standard. So in that case you should go for flexible. But when you go for flexible its price is a bit higher. Also it does not scale down to zero minimum one instance will always be running. So that's why it is bit costlier than a standard environment. Let's talk about a scaling that I have told just now. So guys there are three types of a scaling provided by Google App Engine. The first one is manual, second one is basic and the last one is automatic. Let's say you have deployed your application in Google App Engine and you told that you need manual scaling. So in that case you have to absorb the pattern of your load. Let's say you absorb that during weekends you need more instances. So in that case you have to manually increase the number of instances during weekends. Okay.
so obviously you are doing everything manually in manual scaling that's why its cost is very less now what happens in basic scaling so in basic in scaling instances are created based upon the request received so let's say right now you have zero request then in that case zero number of instances will be running let's say some four or five requests came at any particular time so at that point google app engine will create few instances for you so obviously here instances are created after receiving request so there will be some latency i mean your user have to wait for few minutes till the time google app engine is creating new instance and that's why this basic scaling is not provided in flexible app environment and here you can see you can set the maximum instance like maximum how many instance you need obviously here minimum instance is zero because new instances are created after receiving the request so here there is no concept of minimum instance but there is concept of ideal timeout i mean after receiving the request for how many time you want your application to wait to get your instance ready by google app engine now if you go to the automatic scaling so in automatic scaling everything will be automatic depending upon your load but only thing that you have to say or provide information to google app engine that how many minimum number of instances you want let's say you want minimum number of instances be 2 and maximum number of instances be 10 so google will accordingly adjust like at any point of time your minimum number of instances will be 2 and maximum number of instances will be 10 now let's go to the important point that is traffic splitting we have already discussed this point in google compute engine so here we have the concept of versioning let's say you have version v1 running on google app engine okay but you want to deploy version v2 with some changes so in that case what you can do you can set traffic splitting you can use the command hyphen hyphen splits it means that for version v1 keep traffic 50 percent and for version v2 keep traffic 50 percent and after you feel that your version 2 is performing good according to your requirement then in that case you can use a splits equal version v2 equals one okay so it will direct all the traffic to your recent version so the command is gcloud app services set traffic hyphen hyphen splits equals v1 or v2 according to your need now the last point that you have to remember is if you have deployed your application in google app engine flexible then at least one container will always be running in any case so that's why google app engine flexible is a bit costlier than google app engine standard now the next point is app engine is regional so let's say you have created one app engine in one region let's say ac app now you feel that you need to change this region to europe you can't do that app engine is regional once you have created one app engine in particular region and you want to change the region you can't do that you have to create new app engine in that new region so this point is very important based on this point so many questions have been asked in previous exams so guys i have tried my best to give you all the concepts of google app engine and google app engine concepts in next videos we will study about google kubernetes engine google cloud function and google run so guys please like this video and subscribe the channel for getting more updates regarding this